Where'd she come from? Ah, me arse. A shit right this morning, wheels and all. Have you ever heard the saying you catch more flies with honey than vinegar? Have you ever heard the saying, uh, there's that one there, yeah. Well, fuck yourself. A few times. <laughs> Say that about you, lad. It's personal. I got it covered. I need your full attention on what we're doing here. Can't have you running around with your head up your ass. A couple of lads come to me looking for wheels. You from around here? Belfast. Belfast. They have your weights. Oh, I'm on your metal. Looking for uh, serial numbers. Parts of the Keep the Belfast all guessing while things go BOOM! They ask him or tell him. Yeah, hey, right on that. Nikki could have done this in an hour. Fucking talk to her, man. Sort your shit out. 
They got kids? We end them around some place. None that I know of. And you've not got a goddamn clue the many ways a child can disappoint you. I'm pretty sure the feeling's mutual. Christ. Well, what do you need, Bert? Uh, starters. More of these cars. You can put your hands on them and deliver them back here. That'll be a lot of help to me. Keep my eyes open. I can do that, Lassie. You do that. Point but done, and I need a new set of wheels. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get right to you. Four wheels and an engine. You're set. That's a big help.
I'm in Point Madonna and I need a new set of wheels. Hi, I'll get a ride to you right away. One car is promised. Appreciate it. Point but done, and I need a new set of wheels. Just gonna take a squirt, but I'll get her right to you. Set of hot wheels, just like you ordered. Appreciate it. on their wheels. The brothers back in Belfast really appreciate your help.
hungry? Because I just ate one. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward. It's a place called Villa Del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. Company pal Robert Marshall has a line of an asshole who worked with before your time, a man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name of the two of you had some kind of fallen out. The fallout would suggest there wasn't time for you were in. You're dragging my ass around town with those of you. Some of them have to Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitor's cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's a new Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Good. Taste the music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, but when I want to know what you think about my music, I smack you upside the head. You ever get a chance to meet up with that gal you kept going on about? The one with the ass? Watch the road! Watch it! Hey, you guys together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Ooh. Mm. Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a kind of fraud? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips ship themselves. I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Well, Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. intent on keeping folks inside. Horatio Balmana. Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. 
Back in November of 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana in a talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? No, oh, fuck! No. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. How? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. But my refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pum. Say it again. So I can hear it? Pedro! Pedro Pan! Jesus Christ. And that was it! He, he told another man he was with that engineer to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear! Oh my mother! That mean anything to you? Pedro Pan's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Can't you Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. Goddamn right. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge has some well-trained men working. No surprise. The cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. But I could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that milling MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Trigger this fuck shit. While all that may be true, there's something else here. 
you and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the god of country speech. Save that for the goddamn clubs. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. But I ain't promised you to let this go for good. Fine. I did to your friend here. He cares. And are you going to be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are going to rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. We can kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah. How well? Hmm. Fucking smart mouth cocksucker. That just made it harder on myself, pal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? That assorted. Signal traffic decoding. All for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. We're snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Here somewhere. 
protect the chest, the body, everywhere. God damn it! Fuck! What do you take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell is this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident to Vodka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Almana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldrich gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldrich took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Pires came to the States. Where's Pires now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Pires before Aldridge does.
And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about it. I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Hines.